Oh, here we are. So, I'm here in the upper course of the River Severn, which is our GCSE case study. So, we are in the upper course of the river. What does that mean? In the upper course of the river, you tend to see a much, much higher relief. Okay, so we're up in the mountains here, and you've got a higher relief. So you've got water flowing down the river, and it's flowing at surprisingly a much slower speed until we reach here a waterfall. So a waterfall forms only really in the upper course of the river because of the steep gradient. But what happens, we have hard rock followed by soft rock. When you have hard rock followed by soft rock, and because we're at higher gradient, the water's flowing down because of gravity, and it starts to erode the softer rock through processes of erosion, abrasion, and hydraulic action. So hydraulic action is water going down, you can see the water flowing there, and as it flows over the waterfall, or flows into the softer rock, it erodes it, but it goes into cracks. As this water goes into cracks, it starts to create high amounts of pressure, and there's many explosions. Also, the river will transport pebbles with it. As these pebbles are thrown over the softer rock, it starts to abrade, it starts to rub away at the softer rock. As this happens, and the softer rock is being eroded, it starts to create this overhang. As it goes overhangs, it goes into your plunge pool, which you can see there where the water flows into. As it goes into the plunge pool, closer erosion will happen on the back of the waterfall. That then creates this overhang. In time, this overhang will get so far over the edge of this plunge pool that gravity comes into play and it simply can't hold its own weight and it will fall into the plunge pool. As this process happens more and more, so the, the river, sorry, the waterfall starts to retreat backwards. As this happens more and more, it starts to create a landform that we can see here at Glen Hathren, um Waterfall. It starts to create a gorge. So, to recap, this four-stage process, hard rock followed by soft rock. The soft rock is eroded by proto-erosion, hydraulic action and abrasion. It starts to erode, starts to create this overhang into the plunge pool. As this happens, the overhang gets bigger and bigger and the overhang will fall into the plunge pool, creating, as it retreats further backwards, a gorge. Okay. Some beautiful geography in action. We'll be moving into the middle course of the river in due course. It's some great geography in action there.